Okay, so now we've got our paper all formatted. We are ready to write our paper. The very first paragraph is the hardest, okay? It is your introduction paragraph, and you don't need to use notes or anything for it. All you need to do is to get your reader's attention. So let's start off here. When George Lucas in filming space opera using the magic of technology here we're going to speed through this process all right so when george lucas began filming his space opera star wars he hoped but never dared to realize the long-reaching effect this film would have on others um most of the time, he was just hoping that he'd be able to finish filming this movie. The movie talks about the war between the rebels and the empire, but what George Lucas could not foresee was the real war he almost caused between Tunisia and Libya. So this introduction paragraph does what it's supposed to do. It, it, it sets up what this is going to be about. It's going to be about George Lucas uh, uh, having some issues here when filming the movie Star Wars, and specifically the one about the war he almost started between Tunisia and Libya. Um, and then hopefully it also gains your reader's attention when we go almost calls a real war. Well, then we want to read the next paragraph to find out what's going on. Okay. So if you do your job, that's what your, uh, introduction paragraph does. Nothing, no in text. I didn't worry about pulling in facts and stuff like that. Um, I just gave a little bit of information. Maybe I told a little story. Maybe I told some interesting details. Um, but I just needed to get this in here. This is four-ish sentences, okay? Your introduction paragraph, no, no less than three. Never go less than three in a paragraph. That's a short, choppy paragraph. But for your introduction, you probably won't need more than six, okay? All right, so now it's time to write the rest of the paper. And believe it or not, the rest of the paper is the easiest part to it, okay? The hardest thing about writing the paper is the index, and that's not hard. It's just different. And a lot of times when you're faced with something different, it seems hard, but different is not hard. It's just different. Okay? So let's look at what we need to do. If you were to pull up your, um, your note sheet, okay? So here's your note sheet here. I would suggest that before you continue writing, you take the time to number your notes in the order that you think you might want to use them. So I, I kind of like these first two things here. And then over here in source uh, two, there's my third note. And then source four, I've got a little note here. Or sorry, source one, I got a little note there. Um, and I go back to source two for my fifth note. And then my source three, six, seven, eight, nine. So, so I'm just going to kind of order them the way I want to use them. And the reason why I would want to do that is so I can make sure that I write my paper in the right order and that I don't sit there and jumble notes and reuse notes and get lost. Did I already say that? Did I leave this out? It takes a little bit of time to do this. Okay. However, it saves you so much time. So let's say you spend 15 minutes putting your notes together. It will probably save you anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour of writing your paper. I would rather spend 15 minutes and save an hour's worth of my effort. Okay? So that's just because I'm smart lazy. Smart lazy means you do the little bit of work so you don't have to do a lot of work later. All right, so... Let's get back over here. Our first two source, our first two notes are from source one. My, my third note I want to use the source two, so let's stick right here with this one here. Tunisia and Libya are enemies, and the desert of Tunisia looks like Tatooine. So I want to start working that into my paper. These are just written in incomplete sentences, so I'm going to have to find some way to get that in there. So this will require me to do a little bit of fluff work here. So I'm going to hit tab. No space between paragraphs here. And let's look. George Lucas needed a real world location to shoot scenes 
for when the characters are on the desert planet of Tatooine. He chose Tunisia since it has plenty of desert. What Lucas did not take into account was the political tension between Tunisia and Libya. All right, so there's my two notes I used, right? He used, chose Tunisia because it has desert like Tatooine. All right, and it took me two sentences to kind of word that right. And then I want to talk about the Tunisia and Libya are, are enemies. So I put they had political tension because I was trying to sound a little fancy, right? But now I've got to give credit to that source. So before I hit a period to end that sentence, I'm going to hit space. I'm going to look at my notes. There's what my in-text looks like because we already did that. And hopefully I have that big green check mark that Mr. Alford said is perfect, right? So how did – so I will put my – Boom. All right. Um, and then maybe I want to add a little bit of flavor here. When he began setting up to shoot the film, he almost set off a war between the two countries. All right. And I can learn how to spell. Okay. Now, let's start to do paragraph. Boom. So I need note three, right? So note three came from source two. Two stories tall, just tread wheels and bottom. Luckily, I remember I'm talking about the sand crawler on this, and that comes from my source sand crawler from Wikipedia. Sand crawler is my in text. Okay, so two stories tall, just tread wheels and bottom. And then <laughs> my fourth, no, that's my fifth note. My fourth note comes from another source, goes back to source one. So let me take care of note one first, okay? Um, let's see. I start typing. Lucas needed to build a fake sand crawler, a giant vehicle that carries Jawas. All he needed was the bottom of the vehicle for filming on location. So he set up the prop team to building a two-story base on tread wheels. All right, so I have to give credit to Sand Crawler. But my next period, I always put the period afterward, not before, okay? So my next note um, was that uh, Gaddafi, who was the leader of Libya, um, thought Americans were trying to interfere, all right? So I write my sentence, Gaddafi, the leader of Libya, thought that this was the Americans helping Tunisia build a super tank, and I give credit to that source one where I got it from, boom. And then source, uh, if I remember correctly, my fifth note was back in source two, the Libyan government sent inspectors. So I just write my sentence. He sent inspectors across the border and Lucas had to move his set. All right, that came from Sandcrawler. Boom. All right, so every time I switch source in, inside this paragraph, I have to use a new, new in-text. Okay, so this is from Sandcrawler, this is from How Did, this is from Sandcrawler. But let's say that my, um, my whole paragraph is from the same source. So source three, I had some information. The place where Lucas filmed Tatooine still stands. Terrorists crossing Libyan border, you set for overnight stays. Tunisian soldiers patrol area. Hurts tourism money from Star Wars fans looking for set. Okay, so I got my basic pieces of information here. I write a paragraph. This isn't the only time Lucas played a role in Libyan and Tunisian politics. 
Today, Gaddafi is gone, and in his place is chaos. Terrorist training in Libya run across the border to Tunisia because it is hard to patrol the vast desert landscape. The set where Lucas filmed that first movie still stands and is used in an overnight stop for these terrorists. Tunisia had stepped up patrols. This also hurts Tunisia as they make tourist money off Star Wars fans coming to see the film set. So that's all four of my notes. All four of my notes all came from this one source here. I'm done with this paragraph. Damon is my in-text. Boom. Done. Go to my next paragraph. So how many of these little things will I use? Well, I'll use um, probably at least one for every paragraph because this this in-text here says that everything up to the beginning of this paragraph comes from this source. Since I mixed up my notes here, I had to keep mixing them in. But if your whole paragraph is one source, you just put it at, you put the in-text at the, at the end of that paragraph. If you have a paragraph without an in-text, you're saying that all that information is your information. And that's not the kind of paper we're writing. We're writing a research paper. So you are giving credit to where you're getting your information from. Okay. All right. Now it's your turn to write.